my goodness i'm feeling so exhausted and one funny thing is i sat i don't know i don't know if it is me being in china the cold in china that is causing this i feel like uh there's a flu like i'm catching a cold or something i just feel my throat is itchy i just feel somehow and actually yesterday i was feeling an headache i was just feeling bad but anyway so taking a short break uh, so i think i'm gonna take this time to maybe get water to drink because i'm feeling thirsty my throat is so dry and stuff like that but anyway normally from nairobi to our village it takes us about six six hours yeah so let's see how long it will take us so right now it's um let me check the time yeah right now it's 12. uh we left at around 11 11 30 or something so we've been on the road for like 30 minutes so let me see how long it will take us so right now it's 12 let's see how long it will take us to get one meanwhile this is going to be like a road trip <laughs> i've been showing you more of nature and how kenya looks like specifically so join me on this uh video and i hope you do consider subscribing okay i will not get tired of mentioning this consider subscribing and turning on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my village videos because i promise you guys it's gonna be lit <laughs> so be on the lookout for everything that i'll be doing from the village you guys So guys, see, I've finished all this corn. I don't know how I devoured it. Look at that. So these are some of the things that I've missed about Kenya. You just go in the streets they are selling this. This is like a street food actually. Especially highway street food when you are going home. Uh. When you eat this you become smart. <laughs> yeah. And you sharpen your, your teeth. <laughs> you have to eat it like this. But anyway, that was a stop over. We eat and corn. Now we're still on the way. So come along with us. But let me know. Have you ever tried? Like in the Philippines, they sell corn, but it is very, very soft. Not like this, and they don't roast it. They boil it. So this one is different. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes 
falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So guys, this butter is the best selling shoes in Kenya. It's just like ooh. if you want a nice shoe, you come to butter. Yeah. So we're going to Naiva supermarket. Let's see. At least the supermarket here in the in Kenya, nobody has you to turn off your camera. Ooh. Look at how big <laughs> the tomatoes are. Wow. Whoa. Look at how big the onions are too. What? Jesus. Wow. Okay. When the case show you rather Look at that, this is bread in a basket. Oh, isn't this interesting? Huh? Interesting. <laughs> Look at this water bottle that you, we buy like more less than 100 peso in the Philippines. Look at how much it is in Kenya. This oh, whoa. Look at this. 670. Whoa. Interesting. This one 2000. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Look at these sprinkles, 565 Kenyan shillings. Whoa, okay. But how much look at the price of coffee hey guys I am in shock look at how expensive cooking oil is five liters 1500 wow so guys this is the flour for chapati Is 
because in Kenya this is how we sell milk this is milk see this one are long 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 leaf milks so all of these are milk 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 like like in the Philippines where they only sell in boxes like this see and these Also, guys, the milk can be sold in carton box like this. So this one you'll find like past 21 packets. And guys, rice most of the time is picked in the supermarket. See, all brands of rice. So you just come here and pick whichever you want. And like in the Philippines where you, you want rice, you can go to the market. Although there is rice in the supermarket, but then like, like here you buy rice in the supermarket. See? All brands of rice. Of course, this is also the green, the mungo. Call it green crumbs. Green grams. And then the only canned foods that are here mostly are beans, baked beans. Most of the, most of the time, see? and green peas okay we go we move we are late in the supermarket they sell things like dates and see guys this is the food juice see it's 199 Kenyan shillings. Like anyway, I saw a brand that is normally seen in the Philippines. See, this one, 293. While in the Philippines, this is normally less than 100 pesos. Whoa, if I start converting, and guys, there's one spectacular thing that we have in Africa. Look at this. These juices can buy whatever taste that you want. Leave this mango, pineapple. See? can buy and then you go and mix it in water so all of those are juices and then we have yeah and water of course see water pretty the plates are just look at Ooh. whoa guys so far I'm just shocked at how pricey things are whoa <laughs> this is amazing like let me show you around. let me just leave it because if I start showing you I will not be done today so but anyway we just wanted to do a little shopping before going on because like I always say when you go somewhere when you go home or go visit someone you don't go empty-handed you have to bring something okay so there is an African mentality that we've always we are brought up with and we've been able to keep it up up to now okay so that's why sometimes when you see me going to grandma's place trying to buy things for her it's not because you know it is because this is how i was brought up okay so anyway let's go check it out and go see no long lines i like Guys, <laughs> we 
Thailand shopping and now off we go back on the road <laughs> So guys, huh, I'm so exhausted. I really, I'm tired. I just want to get done with this, with this journey already. But the good thing is, the good news is, we are halfway. Like Nakuru is just midpoint. So from here, it's gonna be a few hours to home. I'm just looking size because I'm looking at beautiful, beautiful things. But anyway, guys, let's go. And I get to eat Nepal. Pale I get to eat our uh, white chocolate. Yay! Whoa! Like, I don't know. I've never seen this in the Philippines, to be honest. This, I've never seen this in the Philippines. So that is why, when I saw it, I was like, why not? Hapa. I was like, why not? So, but anyway, let's go. I'm kind of wishing I could come here during the night or evening when there's lights, because this looks like Christmas lights. I wanted to see how it could have looked like. But anyway, it is what it is. <laughs> we take what we get, but at least, decorated somehow but no Christmas tree guys have you noticed nowhere if this was the Philippines it could be a Christmas tree somewhere <laughs> but I think there's gonna be a family meeting I didn't even know about this but it is what it is <laughs> come and see my uh, uh, my American mom over here <laughs> mama <laughs> see this is my mom <laughs> she's telling me that I am so fat right now which is okay <laughs> <laughs> anyway you guys so i've arrived home so let me just take a moment to rest and then i will talk to you guys maybe tomorrow so thank you for watching i'll see you on my next one